This is my favorite song. This is my favorite song. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happy we'll be. For you are friends, I my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happy we'll be. That is true. Good job, Lucy. Goodbye. I thought it was only fitting to film the commentary from my one year anniversary post bright early in the morning after teaching some classes. This is what I look like when I teach classes in the morning. I do not wear any makeup. I throw my hair in a pony. I put on my sweatshirt over whatever I was wearing to bed and I get in front of my computer. And I started this video with one of my favorite students, Lucy, who I talk about a lot, singing my favorite song. The more I heard this song with VIP Kid, the more meaningful it became to me. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. That correlation is so true with VIP Kid. The more I teach, the more I teach the same student over and over, the happier I am. Now I'm going to share with you some clips that demonstrate why I love this song. I'm going to show you clips from some of the funniest classes. I'm going to show you some clips from some of the most touching classes. I've had kids draw me pictures, write me notes, tell me they love me, get excited to see me. I'm going to show you some parent feedback, some funny, some of my not so good feedback, some really touching feedback, ones that were meaningful to me. And I'm going to show you some clips of other highlights of my first year VIP kid. I'm going to show you how VIP kid has completely changed my life. How good does it feel to wake up in the morning, to work a job that I set the schedule for, to know that that money is coming in for my family, to know that these kids love me and their parents are going to leave me these kind notes and affirmations later that I get to read. This has totally boosted my confidence and my self-esteem. It's been nothing but good. This video has easily taken more time than any video I've ever made. As I was editing and watching the compilation, I teared up every single time watching the short clips put together of the students saying meaningful things or showing me pictures. Uh, just watch. What is that? What is that? <coughs> I've had some funny moments, including this trial class. Watch the progression of this kid's positions as this class went on. He looks so cute. And suddenly he's upside down and antagonizing his dad on the bed. Notice we're on slide four. Climbing up the wall, hiding under his dad. Here we have dad supervising in the background, but not forgoing his cardio. This dad knew he was in the camera and was being obnoxious. I'm quite sure. I'm surprised she did as well as she did, considering she couldn't see anything. Also, this was a little girl in a crib. That's how young she was. Usually, when students draw their favorite meat, they draw it in food form. But <laughs> this child drew the cow, or the bull, for beef. Here's Kelly with her terrifying mask. Here's Minnie with her taxidermy scary animals, her squirrel and her wolf thing. Here's one of my favorite students, Nina, and her poor dog. I've met so many pets. I've met family members and taught this little two-year-old along with his sister. Clearly, he discovered the drawing pool. I met his twin two-year-old 
little brother and sister, which made our class interesting. This mom is always helping her adorable little son, and I love, love, love her very much. I turned on my camera during a trial, and there were four little girls sitting side by side in almost the same outfits, and they looked the same. And I called the firemen and said, am I supposed to teach all four of them? And they called the parents, and they said, no, just one. So one little girl took the iPad and ran away, but all of the other little girls followed her for the entire class, and it was so adorable. I've had students share their talents with me, including Kelly. She's also the girl with the clown mask and this really cool flute that she plays. I've taught friends at sleepovers who didn't want to cancel because they wanted to introduce their friends to me. Here's that picture that Nina drew of me, teacher Angela, for her project. This student, TT, thinks that I look like teacher Elsa, so she drew a picture of Elsa and always dressed as like Elsa in our classes. Let's go through feedback. So as you can see, I do have some unsatisfactory, good. I have some funny, some funny feedback. Let's talk about my unsatisfactory. My very first one, it said, the teacher said a lot. The child didn't have a chance to speak or introduce themselves. That I spoke too fast. The child was embarrassed. There was spare time in previous classes, but this class had a special hurry. The teacher praised the child as a class. It may be more appearance will not be about. Yikes! I got another three apples. It was invalidated. It was because I was too quiet. Lack of TPR with Cindy. It was also invalidated. What does it say? Let's translate it. Ooh. I think this is when I was sick. So this one translates to the speed was fast, the child can't hear clearly. I have some goods. A lot of them also say that I talk too fast. That was really my biggest struggle. I hope the teacher can speak slowly. I actually ended up teaching her a lot. Um, this one I think might have been in the second half of the lesson was more hurried. This one was invalidated. Um, the audio, my audio wasn't good. I think I was sick. Another CC. Gave me bad feedback. Don't want to teach CCs anymore. All right, let's go look at some funny comments. Here's some funny feedback. This was from my first month. I got this a lot and I still get it. They always call me Mr. Angela. Um, Sean loves Mr. Anglia very much. BTW, by the way, Angela is beautiful. Hope to see Mr. Angela again next time. Mr. Angela is beautiful. Here's another Mr. Angela. Um, Sean is looking forward to seeing Mr. Angela again. I really loved this one from Hanson. Our son is not very willing to speak English and his spoken language is weak. The teacher is very careful in class. He can lead the child to speak word by word and the whole class process is more careful than other teachers. Uh, the teachers were soon full, so difficult to meet. That means it's hard to book classes. I hope I can get more of the teacher's class. I loved that one. He was... He's hesitant to speak English, but she liked my class. I love, I love feedback like that. I love this one too. Let the mother feel very comfortable. As a mom, that's the feedback I like to see. Frank was very late and I taught him in a taxi. It was a, it was a test prep class, but we, we finished it and Frank did fantastic. I get this one so many times. The daughter said the teacher looks like Princess Elsa. Yep, they tell me that a lot. Here's another Mr. Angela. Kevin likes Mr. Angela very much. Okay, here's an awesome one. I taught this kid and I noticed his hair style was very unique, not like any other student I'd ever taught. It looked like Neymar, which I know my family's 
all about soccer, right? Neymar is Brazilian. So at the end of the class, I said, Ethan, do you like soccer? He said, yeah. And I held up a picture of Neymar on my phone. I said, you look like Neymar. And he was like, oh, thank you. I still couldn't 100% tell if he knew what I was talking about. I'm going to find a clip from that class and show it. So anyway, his dad left this feedback and said, after class, he was very excited to tell him that I said he was like Neymar. They both like Neymar so much, and they were so excited about that. I always get nice feedback when I'm sick. Thank you. I see the teacher caught a cold. Should pay attention to the body. Thank you, Becky. I love this one. This person found me on YouTube. I watch your YouTube videos on how to pass mocks of VIP kid and thought you might be a good teacher for my daughter, Kelly. And I was wrong because you are more than good. Kelly will be seeing you again. Kelly's the one with the mask, <laughs> the, ch the scary clown mask. Here's an apology feedback. Dormy is just five, and honestly, she was acting like a five-year-old, so it's okay. We have to say sorry to you. Sorry, Angela. Dormy acted badly in this class. She did not focus on the class either. I did not stay beside her in the class and let her have class alone, but I cannot forgive her attitude in class. I had to tell her about this. I apologize for her bad show in class to you. <laughs> oh, Dormy is precious. I love this one, too. I love Katie. I love that her mom said, my child is a little introverted, but the teacher guides well, so the child is very positive. Mm, yes. Those are just such wins to me when the chi children are shy and nervous to talk. Here's another one when I was sick. Thanks for your teaching again. Don't worry about your voice. Maybe you were too tired. Take a good sleep and have a rest. Hope you get better soon. Here's another Elsa. By the way, Lucy said you are as beautiful as her favorite princess Elsa. Let it go. <laughs> Snowflake. <laughs> Hope to see you soon. Here's another one. Leo. He said it was his Elsa teacher and his favorite princess was Elsa. I love this one. I talk about Lucy a lot in my videos because her family has become my friend in real life. We talk on WeChat. I met her in person and I love this. This was like one of our first classes after I got back from Beijing. Uh, she said, you are not only Lucy's teacher, but also our family's friend. Oh. So here's Adam again. This was so sweet. He said the she realized the class was six o'clock in the evening, which means it's early for me. I she said, which means you get up early to take lessons for your children. The child, Adam, remembered that I was sick in the last class. This time after the class, he said the teacher didn't cough. Good. Oh, they care. We're so lucky for, to have these kids. Here's a funny one. Very sorry about the lollipop. When I got back home and found the lollipop thing, I told her it was not polite to eat during class. <laughs> well, think about it. Working from the comfort of home, when you want, and how often you want. It sounds too good to be true, but it's a real side hustle for a company that's still hiring. All right, Lucy. Today, we're talking about meals. Are you ready? It's 6 a.m. and Angela Silva just rolled out of bed and into work. Do you eat for dinner? But her job is at home, teaching English to children in China. It sounded too good not to try, but still too good to be true. A year ago, the Chesterfield mom quietly applied for an online teaching job with VIP Kid. The company provides one-on-one -on -one English language instruction over the internet. She was skeptical, but then I got paid and my daily routine hadn't changed. I still have my kids and I just had an extra thousand dollars and thought, okay, this is really good. Because of the time difference in China, classes begin at 5 a.m. So Angela's working before her own kids are up. She has the flexibility to take time off whenever she wants and the pay for her family has been life changing. Hey! Angela's husband is in dental school, and before she picked up this side hustle, they were living off of student loans. We haven't even had to touch his loan since I've gotten this job. It completely pays for all of our bills, all of our expenses. I've been able to pay for some trips. I've been able to build a significant savings. It's completely transformed it. The company pays anywhere from 14 to $22 an hour and provides the lesson plans for each 25-minute class. So you don't have to be a trained teacher to get a job with VIP Kid. You just need a bachelor's degree and experience with children, even if that's just your own. It's made me more tired. <laughs> there are some cons. I'm tired a lot. I'm in bed by like 9 or 10 every night, but it's worth it. You know, you have to sacrifice for the life you want. Are you a dancing elephant? And we have the life we want. What? 
in order to help them enjoy learning English before every lesson, I will make different teaching props related to the content. I am Angela. See you in the classroom. Everybody, I'd like to introduce our Beijing trip winners for 2018. Wow, wow. So cool. Look at this. So friends, this is my one year update with VIP Kid. I have had a very strong first year and things are only continuing in a good direction. I love my students, I love teaching them, I love the time that I have with my family, I love the contribution I'm able to make to my family, and it's been nothing short of amazing. I hope if you're a VIP Kid teacher watching this, that you've had an awesome experience or if you're starting out that it gets you excited for your first year. If you are interested in VIP Kid and would like more information or help applying, you can email me or apply the information to reach out to me or to apply is below in the description for this video. So good luck on your own VIP Kid journey. I'll check in with you at year two and as always, happy teaching. <laughs>